Perseverance takes extreme close-up images of Mars that make it feel like you're there, except they look sort of flat. But when the Watson camera takes offset images, they can be combined into a flickering view that adds a new dimension. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance has been exploring the top of the Jezero crater fan built from river deposits. It's currently parked on a layer of coarse sandstone exposed underneath upper layers with cobbles and boulders washed in by raging floods billions of years ago. It first visited the now fractured slabs of bedrock in this location. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance used G-Dirt, its gas dust removal tool, to blow away loose material on top. This revealed a porous looking rock with greenish crystals eroding out, probably olivine washed in from volcanic terrain outside Jezero Crater. See episode 123. About 180 meters to the south, Perseverance investigated terrain with a similar look in the orbital view, although not as well exposed. That pretty well describes what it looks like on the ground. Fractured bedrock that's not as well exposed as in the previous location. Perseverance started once again with a blast of compressed nitrogen gas from G-Dirt, as appears to be the new procedure when deploying the arm on a rock. Viewed with Watson, this shows that the bedrock here has essentially the same texture as in the previous location. This is a satisfying result for those who have to rely on orbital images to do geologic mapping of Mars. Perseverance used its drill with the abrading bit to grind into this rock, which provides a less weathered and relatively smooth surface for the science instruments to investigate. A blast from G-Dirt was used as normal to clear out the drill tailings, but in this case the grinding operation produced more than the typical rock powder. This time there was some really chunky bits that got ripped up and then blown out, as shown with MassCam Z not ideal for the science instruments. The view with Watson reinforces the fact that the abrasion patch is not very smooth, although it's easier to see with a 3D image created using a second image offset from the first. This can be rendered using 3D modeling software or with a red-blue anaglyph, or even just flickering between the two images. The result reveals a miniature landscape of plateaus and ravines composed of crystal fragments and bits of rock, some nicely rounded, all cemented together into a coarse grain sandstone. The flickering also shows an iridescent glint in some crystals, which is found in olivine with a small amount of iron replacing magnesium. See episode 119. This effect is even visible in mass cam Z images from the parallax created by its left and right cameras which makes for a fun party trick showing the abrasion patch and the dancing pebbles in flicker vision. Some pebbles have the iridescent glint of olivine, although other minerals or even coatings may produce this effect. Olivine is consistent with the fact that the most olivine-rich place on Mars is just outside Jezero Crater, so certainly some of it washed in and got mixed together with all sorts of other bits to make this sedimentary rock. Perseverance already got a sample of it from the previous location, so no need to get another one here. It's since moved on about 150 meters to the northwest, back among the cobbles and boulders of the upper terrain unit. That puts it within about 400 meters of a completely different terrain not yet explored, a vision flickering in the distance.